Hey, Dr. Juice again. Another episode of Juice TV. This time, Parker took a break from Lake Superior. And he's going to have a demonstration on how to fly fish for panfish. Hello, Captain Parker here, Superior Pursuits and Dr. Juice USA. Today we're uh, at a local inland lake and we're looking to fish for some panfish, crappie, bluegills, and one of my preferred methods to use is uh, fly fishing. I can show you how to set up the fly rod and then hopefully we can catch a few fish. So we got a fly rod set up here and then uh, I like to use uh, these bear tooth uh, splicing loops. Nice, simple, it's kind of like a Chinese finger trap, goes on the end of the fly line there and then it gives you a nice loop. And then you're going to take your fly line tippet, if it doesn't already come with a loop, what you do is you just take that tippet, you're going to tie an overhand knot in it, tie it twice, or go around twice in the loop, and then pull that tight, and that'll give you a nice loop, and then just cut off that tag end. There you go. And then this goes in this loop here, and then you pull the leader through itself, through the loop you made in the line. Pull that tight, and then pull it tight on itself. And there you go, you have your leader set up. One of my favorite lures seems to work really well. The fly is the uh, woolly bugger. A crystal flash woolly bugger, uh, different colors. This one's a black one. Seems to work really well for the springtime bluegill and crappies. Just tie this on your line. The reason I use, uh, I like to fly fish for them is it's a little more sporting, a little more fun to catch a fish on a fly, especially one that you tied yourself. And then uh, it actually seems to be more effective than using worms or uh, minnows. You can catch the fish, you can get them back to the boat quick, release them, and then, uh, or keep them and then get back in the water, especially when the fishing is slow and they turn on, it's key to, you know, be on the fish when they're on. And as always, when we're fishing for the bluegill and crappie, use your panfish crappie scent. Just put a drop on your lure. That's all you need. They are beautiful fish. We're a little bit early yet this year still. Big ones haven't moved in, but we're catching a lot of fish and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> 